Hello everyone and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Sela speaking. So before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. Now let's begin our weekly analysis and as usual we will start with the Euro USD. So now if we move right here to the weekly chart. Now first of all, the Euro USD has indeed reversed on this level of a first support right here at 1.0742. This was of course a support number one. And right here, the market has already made two attempts over the last two weeks on the second attempt of the support. We have actually thought that the Euro USD has made a bearish breakout from that level. However, that didn't happen. And instead, we had here two dodges, indicates, of course, most likely for a bullish reversal. And most likely, we have to look for buying the Euro USD for the next week. Now, by moving to the daily chart, now we're having here a very clear and obvious real level of a support. And however, here in the middle, we had that fake breakout candle has appeared. Now, it's important to understand that if we look right here at the current pattern, uh, let me just show it to you right here exactly. Uh, on that structure, we have here right here as uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern has already been completed, which indicates a continuation in the rise. So for that reason, I would highly recommend to buy the Euro USD at this level of a real support as one, uh, 1 1.0757 waiting for this pair to fall to another 20 pips is going to be our best opportunity to buy the Euro USD. Also considering that we are having here a real level of a support that has indeed been respected. And right here we have this um, real level of a support number one and two, then fake breakout. And again, the same level of a real support has been respected. So now we can expect from the market to rise here, sorry, to fall right here, reverses and maybe expand a little bit more till it reach that level of a support. And then the reversal will be gone. And of course, we're looking for a zero drawdown as much as possible. For that reason, I'm going to send you the buy order exactly at the lowest level possible that the Euro USD might actually reach to. So therefore, buying right here exactly at this level of a previous support uh the safe zone shouldn't be ranging lower than the previous level of the inverted head and shoulder and most likely it will be ranging for only actually we can even expand it a little bit more to be approximately uh 43 pips however the take profit level will be right here at this level of a resistance at 1.08807 ranging for about 124 pips let's now move to the pound usd all right, so now what's next with the pound USD? Let's now move to the weekly chart. Right here also, we can notice another reversal happened right here at that level of a real support exactly right here at 1.25145. Again, based on the weekly chart, another attempt of support number one and right here, attempt of support number two, which indicates, of course, a continuation in the rise. Another way to look at this is, of course, by looking at the support trend line, as we can see right here. And as we can see, the market has indeed respected that level of support trend line, as we can see, with one fake breakout in the middle. And right here, real level of support number one, uh, support trend line, I mean, and again, number two, support trend line number three. So right here, most likely, we have to continue buying the pound USD. Now, moving to the daily chart. Right here, based on the daily chart, we cannot ignore the fact that we are having here a real level of a support, as we can see right here. Those two tails are representing a real level of a support. However, I want you guys to focus on this uh, pattern. Let me just now move to the smaller time frame to see it, such as for our time frame. Now, on this pattern as well, right here, we can also notice inverted head and shoulders pattern has also been completed. So again, buying the pound USD at those levels is going to be our best idea. So for that reason, I would highly recommend to wait for the pair to fall again right here to reach this level of a real support exactly right there at 1.25782 after falling for another 20 pips as well. Keep in mind that we had here a real level of a support continuously. Meanwhile, we have zero attempts of a resistance and every single bearish breakout candle has actually been confirmed to be a fake one. As we can see, zero attempts of a resistance and, uh, entirely. We have here a fake breakout number one and fake breakout number two so buying the pound USD exactly at 1.25782 and take profit level will be the highest level of a real resistance at 1.26439 expecting a profit of um 65 pips only and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than, than the bottom of the support right here at 1.25417 ranging for about 35 pips and now moving to the AUD USD 
All right, so now let's take a look at the AUD UST. For a starter, if we move right here to the weekly chart again, we do have right here a strong level of a key support at 0 0.64939. And obviously, the market has indeed uh, created, uh, actually, we are having here a clear head and inverted head and shoulders pattern, which has indeed been completed based on the weekly chart, indicates a long run of buying the AUD UST. Now, moving to the daily chart. So based on the weekly analysis, we have determined that the pair is going to continue the rise. Now, based on the daily chart, let's just confirm the direction and where exactly we can buy this pair. Now, it's important to understand that right here exactly perfect. Yes, right here at the lowest level of this tail at 0 0.65, 0 0.65071. This indeed has been a strong real level of a support. And right here, we can see that the market has indeed respected that level of a support. Now, by looking at the resistance trend line, however, by looking at this level of a resistance trend line, look at that. So that the resistance trend line has indeed been broken out from with that bullish breakout candle and the retest has already been happened. Or actually, sorry, it has already happened. So meaning the new support trend line has already been created. Moving now to the four hour time frame. Look at that. That's perfect. Right here, we have a real level of a support and then a fake breakout. And right now, our good opportunity to buy this pair will be when the market fall again to reach the same real level of a support and then it will continue the rise. Also, never forget that we do have right here also a real level of support trend line, which most likely is going to be respected. One second, which is going to be respected. Uh, it became here a resistance trend line only for once and instantly been broken out from. So right here, the support trend line has indeed been respected. So waiting for the market to fall right, right here to reach the same level, uh, meaning we have to wait for this pair to fall to another 25 pips before we can buy it. Take profit level will be right here at the highest level of any resistance at 0 0.65995, expecting at least 92 pips profit from this signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the bottom of the support right here at 0 0.64724, ranging for about 34 pips only jumping now to the usd cad all right so now what's next with the usd cad actually my friends so if we move right here to the weekly chart we are having here of course a very clear level uh, clear level sorry of a real resistance trend line that indeed has been respected check this out so resistance trend line number one two and three and here in the middle we have one fake breakout and right now finally this week or actually sorry last week um the USD CAD has indeed reversed on this level of a resistance. Indicates also a continuation in the fall and most likely the USD CAD is going to continue the fall till it reached this level of a real support. And also, if we think about it also, my friends, we do have right here, let me just show it to you. Of course, a triangle that has been created. And as you can see now, the USD CAD is approaching the bottleneck of that triangle. So meaning that level of support trend line most likely is going to be revisited again. And therefore, that's going to be indeed our take profit level. So now moving to the daily chart. So indeed, we have confirmed that we can sell the USD CAD. But the question is where now by looking at the daily chart, we can see, <clears throat> sorry, a real level of a resistance at 1.35267, meaning we have to wait for the spare to rise to another 43 pips before we can start selling it. However, the take profit level will be right here at the, low, the bottom of the support at 1.34160, aiming approximately 107 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the, the peak of the resistance at 1.35726, ranging for about seven, uh, sorry, 47 pips only. Now moving to the USD GPY which I'm still not going to give any signal about because we are not yet sure about the direction. And again, I'm doing here the best I can to protect your funds, my friends, with these signals. We are doing the best we can, of course, to provide you with the highest quality of, sig of these signals. Therefore, I'm not yet sure what will gonna happen with the USDGPY. We will just have to drop it for this week again, and we will see what we can do in the next week. So now, jumping again to the USD CHF. All right, so now what's next with this pair? Now, by looking here at the weekly chart, we can notice indeed that the market has also been uh, respecting that level of a real resistance, as we can see right here, exactly like that. Uh, let me just make sure it's accurate. Exactly. So now every single uh, week right here in this pattern is touching the resistance trend line, which makes it uh, drawn in the right way. 
So eventually we can see the reversal has occurred exactly right here at the same level of the resistance trend line. Also not ignoring that, oops, that we are having here also a real level of a resistance as we can see. So those, th those, those, <laughs> those two candles right here representing a resistance number one and right here most likely it seems to be a resistance number two. So for those reasons, I would highly recommend to sell the USD CAD for this week. And by the, by looking at this pattern, uh, we do have right here, of course, one real level of a support and one fake breakout happened. So maybe, maybe we can expect here right here uh, from the market to fall again and reverse on this level. And by that, we, we would actually we would have inverted head and shoulders again. So maybe we can consider buying the USD CAD until then. But of course, until then, we have to sell this pair. So if a support will be created right here, then that's going to be good to start buying this pair. Moving now to the daily chart. Again, we're seeing just the same thing on the daily chart, so we cannot really cut it. Let's move to the four hour time frame. We need to find our best opportunity to sell this pair. Now, by using the Fibonacci retracement, as we can see right here, the market right now is reversing exactly at 23.6. So therefore, I would highly recommend to just wait for the market to reach the highest level of resistance at 23.6 Fibonacci retracement and just sell after it rises to another 27 pips. That's going to be our best opportunity to sell the USDCHF. And the take profit level most likely going to be placed right there at the bottom of the, of the support at Fibonacci 50 expecting at least 110 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging higher than the uh, peak of the resistance right here at 0. Um, 0.8805 ranging for about 46 pips only. Let's now, now finally move to the gold. All right, my friends. So now for the gold, um, Actually, it's not easy to trade the gold right now. Nowadays, it's just somehow confusing, to be honest. Now, we do have right here, of course, a broken level of resistance, as we can see. And now, the gold has already created here a real level of support number one. And right here now, actually, we are having here support number two. And right here, support number three. Now, most likely, the, US, the, sorry, the gold is actually going to continue the rise after the reversal of that support. Actually, I'm not expecting uh, added candle at the moment. Most likely the gold is going to continue the rise till it reaches this level of resistance and afterward it will continue the fall. Also, we have to consider that if we look right here at the daily chart, let me just switch to the daily chart. We do have right here, of course, a broken level of support trend line, as you can see. So now most likely the gold after breaking out from that level of support trend line, uh, that this was of course the bearish breakout and now the gold is going to continue the rise till it reach that level of resistance and retest the broken level of support trend line so for that reason i would recommend to buy the gold for these uh, upcoming days of the next week and then we can actually sell the gold at a certain point right here at that level of resistance so now by looking here at the bottom level of that pattern if we move right here to the four hour time frame we can see clearly right here a real level of a support exactly right there at this level of a support at at 2005.86 now combining this with the level of a support trend line right here as we can see that's really perfection now we do have a, a, a real level of a support and then a fake breakout and also that level of support trend line now also had faced has faced also another fake breakout so most likely the gold is going to retest that level and create here a new support trend line and also that level of support will be respected so there is a lot of pressure on uh, the gold on this level so buying the gold exactly at 2005.86 and take profit level can be placed just right here at the highest level of resistance at 2031.98 expecting at least 260 pips profit from this signal and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the bottom of the support at 1994.58 ranging for about 111 pips only and that's everything my friends for the weekly analysis i hope it will be profitable and hopefully this time we can all make good profits with these signals and hopefully uh, we can recover any losses happened from the last week and again my friends always remember that forex market can never be the same every week some days some days actually will be good and some days will be bad and of course we are we at extreme trader always doing the best we can 
to provide you with the high quality signals and of course very reliable ones so again my friends be careful and ready and remember just because these signals came from extreme trader doesn't mean at all that it will be 100 percent profitable there is always a possibility that these signals might fail your capital is always at risk when you are trading forex so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching